Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the M17 project. Stick around and we'll get right to it. So Steve, can you tell us a little bit about your M17 project and how we might be using that in the future? Sure, M17 is a new digital radio protocol in development to replace proprietary and patent encumbered radio protocols that are currently available. If they're familiar with D-Star, DMR, Fusion, those protocols, um, they're patent encumbered and they're not very easily um, experimented with. They're closed source, um, you can't really experiment with it. You're basically turned into a, an appliance operator at that point. Okay. Amateur radio is all about experimentation and uh, having fun with the, with the uh, hobby. Right. M17 is a free and open source protocol that is designed by hams for hams in order for us to really bring uh, experimentation with digital radio back to amateur radio or the, uh, the amateur radio operators rather than having somebody dictate to us what a digital radio protocol should be. Okay, outstanding. Now, how can, are there radios already on the market that I can buy and start running the M17 uh, prototype or how am I going to get it loaded onto a radio? So the, as far as the hardware is concerned, there is no um, commercial hardware available right now that runs M17 specifically. Okay. There are implementations of other hardware, so if you're familiar with a uh, TYT MD380 DMR radio, the, the 380-390s. Right, okay. There's a small hardware modification that can be done. Okay. That will allow M17 to be transmitted out of the MD380 using a special firmware made by the OpenRTX project. Oh, okay, so a quick mod to the board and then I can just reflash the firmware and now I've got the M17? Now you have M17 available. Outstanding. So Steve, how can we get started today with this with the Raspberry Pi? Because if you follow my channel, you know I'm kind of a fanboy of the Pi. Yes, sir. <laughs> with the uh, Raspberry Pi, um, using just a headset, there's a client called mVoice, which will attach you to the M17 network onto one of our reflectors. You download and compile mVoice onto a Raspberry Pi, connect up a headset, and you can get right onto M17 and transmit to anywhere in the world, really. So I don't need a radio, you I don't, don't need, need a, a hotspot, I can just, my Raspberry Pi, a headset, a microphone, and I'm off to the race. And an internet yes, connection. And an internet connection. Well, course. okay, an internet <laughs> connection. <laughs> All right, be, uh, gotcha. Uh, but also using, um, the MMDVM modems, you can turn uh, the Raspberry Pi into a M17 transmitter using either DroidStar or um, M17 client. DroidStar is developed by 88DP, Doug. Okay. Um, M17 client was developed by Jonathan G4KLX of okay. the MMDVM fame. He, he created a client that will run uh, M17 over a, a modem specifically. Okay, so this is kind of a, a hot spot then that I could use an HT to interact with? Yes. Okay, outstanding. Now where can I learn more about the M17 project? So the M17 project has a website, m17project.org. m17project.org. There's uh, links on there for our Discord and uh, Matrix uh, servers. We have a huge community that's uh, open and welcoming. There's about what, so 500. Gl global community, yep. just real quick. It was started about three years ago in Poland by SP5WWP. So he was the mastermind behind this. Okay, outstanding, outstanding. Well, I wanna get it and see if I can get it running on the Raspberry Pi. So that, that now do you have a link to that on your, on your website? mVoice is an implementation, so if you go onto our website, there's a section for implementations that lists all the software and hardware implementations that are currently available. Okay. M17 is just the protocol, but we also list all the implementations of that protocol on oh, our website. Perfect, that's exactly what I needed, needed to know. Guys, thank you so much for taking a few minutes with me today. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting home and uh, getting this, trying to get this loaded up on a Raspberry Pi. Maybe it shows up in build a Pi soon? Very good possibility. <laughs> Hey guys, that's it for today. We'll see you on the next one. Until then, 7-3. And I'm sorry, I missed Steve. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fixing them post. Terrible with names. Yeah, all this gets cut out. Right. <laughs>